Like her husband, Rachel Robinson was a pioneering civil rights advocate. With grace and determination, she helped her husband integrate sports in America and has been a spokeswoman for human rights ever since, carrying on Jackie Robbins, Robinson's legacy. She is a national treasure and the undisputed First Lady of Baseball. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Rachel Robinson. Thank you. I am delighted to be here tonight and so proud to celebrate the extraordinary work of my friend, writer-director, Brian Helgeland. When Brian first came to me with the idea to write and direct the movie 42, I had mixed feelings. For at least 30 years, I had entertained so many proposals to tell our story, but we just couldn't seem to get it done until the very, very well-prepared Brian, with the backing of legendary entertainment's CEO, Thomas Tull, presented the right script and, of course, the best intentions. And they did tell the story right. I believe the movie... <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> I believe the movie accurately portrays our lives back then. I, along with my family and the Jackie Robinson Foundation, are thrilled that 42 has been so well received, both here and abroad. In fact, I just came back from Tokyo where it opens on November 1st. <laughs> yeah, we're going abroad. But I'm particularly thrilled that uh, through the movie, a new generation will know about this, the challenges of our time and in our nation's history. And it's my hope that the young people are encouraged to think about what they can do in their own lives. Thank you for honoring the movie 42 and the wonderful, talented Brian Helgeland. Please welcome Brian to the stage. Thank you. Um, uh, I want to thank Human Rights First and the Lamette family. Um, you pr will probably never have a less deserving person up here than me, but thank you anyways. Um, uh, baseball is a great game of statistics. Um, the numbers in baseball have weight and meaning. In 1946, there were 16 major league baseball teams, each with 25 men on their rosters, which if you do the math is a total of 400 players. Each and every one of those players was white. In 1947, the number dropped to 399. And that, and one man stood apart. And that is how we begin to define the number 42, which is the numerical representation of Jackie Robinson's bravery. It's, I think it's staggering, really. It's a, bra it's a bravery 
I mean, I think we saw it earlier tonight uh, at the beginning, but it's a bravery possesses such stark virtue that if I made it up, no one would believe, everyone would say it was a Hollywood story and it hadn't really happened. Um, and it wasn't that long ago. You can ask Rachel Robinson. She was there. She witnessed it all, just like she opened up her eyes this morning and, and took in the state of the nation. So this is not history. She is, she's, was just standing here in front of you, a living human being, and I think one of the best and most decent people this country has ever produced. <laughs> she was by her husband's side as he put flesh and bones and a face on the grand idea of civil rights. He took the abstract out of it. He was a living, breathing man who we could cheer for or curse, depending on where we sat in the crowd. He had the sublime ability to prove us wrong, to shine a light on us, and demand that we declare ourselves one way or the other. He also allowed the day to belong to decent-minded people. He was medicine for a sickness that afflicted a nation. In the United States, there's an ambition to do the right thing. We strive to improve ourselves. We may sometimes fail at that ambition. We may stay, step back at times instead of forward. But Jack and Rachel Robinson show us that we can overcome anything, even our own history. But we need to strive. Striving is a very powerful word. It means you're in something for the long haul. It means there's work left to be done. Progress is still only progress. And striving means we haven't got there yet. But it also means we believe there's a destination worthy of our individual and collective work and the suffering and sacrifice of some of us. I had it easy. I didn't have to be brave. I simply needed to tell the story of a man far braver than I am or I will ever be. Jackie Robinson made America a better place, and he made it a more decent place. It is our responsibility to move that legacy forward and not ever let it slip back in reverse. So thank you very much on behalf of Thomas Tullin Legendary Pictures and Warner Brother Pictures. Thank you for this honor and, and for letting us share it with you tonight. Thank you.